If you think you are not, your way is not right with God. I'm inviting you to run forward for salvation. Come now for your salvation. Your way is not right with God. You want to accept Jesus. Or you want to do it again. Because your life is mixed up. Your soul is important. Your soul is important. Your soul is very, very important. He is calling you. He say, come. Don't look at yourself. There will be a day of visitation. As you are coming. You are here for your soul. Remember the rich fool. Who become rich. And in the last day. He extended his bands. In that night, his soul was recovered. Come. Even backsliders come. Liars come. Thieves come. Fornicators come. Robbers come. And accept Jesus. Can we clap hands for this one? Clap hands for them. Let's bring Mavukela to pray with them. Prayer of accepting Jesus. Thank you, Father. We can stretch hands to them. You don't pray at the beginning. You when I'm go Let forward. them pray. Thank you, Lord. Pray with them. Let's lose our eyes. Let's say, Heavenly Father, I've heard your calling. I know that you are my God. I know that you created me. All the things that the devil has made me to do. I reject them today. I want to accept you, Jesus, into my life so that I can see you one day. Please forgive all of my sins. I surrender all to you. I, I, I am asking you to pardon all of my sins. Cleanse me by your precious blood. You are my God. You are my Savior. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Today I am born again. I am your child. And God, I stand before you. I am ready to do good. I will go all out for doing good. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Uh, this prayer you have prayed here tell yourself you don't want to pray it again meaning that by the sin that brought you here you will never come here again congratulations the prayer you have prayed listen I'm concerned some of you uh, you are doing this uh, you must fight this thing you must not you must take an altar as if you are going to God. Don't go to the altar. Don't use an altar to tell someone. Don't, don't come here and say, okay, I'm telling this person that I have changed. No. God knows you can still repent when you are there. Isn't it? That's the first thing. The second thing is, don't use altar to protect the sin you have done. Because automatically you will sin knowing that there is altar. You are sin knowingly, you are affecting, you are, you are insulting Holy Spirit. The Bible says, he who insults the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. 
If you know this thing is wrong, don't do it. And don't do it because with a, with a reason of saying, okay, I'm doing it because there's issues of what? Altar call. What if we don't call altar and Jesus come back? Don't use altar. If you read 1 John 1 verse 9, you can start from verse 8. I mean, if you, are, you sin, you must confess your sin. Because he's faithful and just. to can forgive you your own sin. If now you have sinned, we have got Jesus Christ. You can confess that sin. In other words, you cannot wait for the what? For the altar. I'm saying this because some of you will die waiting for the altar. And we are not calling altar. Calling you to the altar. You can confess your sin there. Somewhere, somewhere you can check yourself. Ah, why I'm repeating sin? It means there's a demon in you. You cannot just fight that demon by the altar. You need deliverance now. I'm sure you understand that. Okay. This week you are here. After two weeks you are here. Third week you are here. Automatically there is... There's a problem. How many of you understand what I'm trying to say? So now, if now we use the altar to say, now, my sin, I go, whatever, whatever. And you say, I'm going to live a holy life. Very soon, after a week, you'll be surprised you are doing exactly the same. So on that, tell yourself you need what? Deliver it, isn't it? Because look here, you know this is wrong and you are doing it. A person that just know that, I, I mean, adultery is wrong. There are Christians, there are sins of Christians that you can understand. These Christians make mistakes before God. You can go, oh Lord, I've, I've become angry. Forgive me. Forgive me. And God will forgive you. Ah, this one, you have to enter the house, you must sit. And wait for the time. This one, uh, you are crazy. You are really crazy. In this one of adultery and fornication, where is the Holy Spirit on you? Where is the Word of God in you? I'm sure you understand that. Eh? You have to get a car. You drive it. Where are you going? You, you are not hearing God speaking with you. Even if you are not hearing God, what about the scriptures? Where are you going? The Bible said they have got feet which are running to, to, to sin. Automatically, you can just say, no, 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 man. I can't. Where am I going? What is the use for me to go and sleep where I'm not supposed to be sleeping? Am I crazy here? Am I locked here? There are things that, you know, yourself, you go to a point of saying, ah, me, I'm going here. Left. The moment you do like this, where are you going? You go there, you sit. Adultery and fornication is a sin of the body. And when you sin it, you are sinning by your own blood. And you sin it by your own blood, it means you are sinning by your own life. You reach there, you open the door, you knock. Coco. The first thing is communication. Hello. Uh -huh. Can I come tonight? Don't come. Oh, why? Ah, you Christian. Okay, come. Ah, if you just hear that this person committed adultery, I question you a lot. I really, I mean, I really question you. You must have conscience. Your question must be, if you're a Christian, you sleep here. Tomorrow you're sleeping here. Or you're doing, confessing one sin. I doubt you. Because at the end of the day, you were supposed to be saying, I don't want to go there. If I go there, this will happen. Isn't it? So what pulls you to go there? Knowing that you'll come here and say, Oh, Father, yes, forgive me. I confess. It's over. Amen. Automatically, you need what? Deliverance. Isn't it? Ask somebody, you don't need deliverance. You're not supposed to be. Okay, it says goodness. You lie here. You lie here. You lie here. You lie here. Ah! You are a Christian. You are lying here. And you lie here. And you lie. 
and you are a Christian. Okay, I hate this one. Tomorrow you hate this one. Tomorrow you are a Christian. Your Christianity is questionable if you are, you are carrying on doing what is wrong and you are justifying yourself. It's really questionable. I believe God is going to help you. Amen. God bless you. The book by Apostle Professor J.B. Makananisa, Every Christian Needs Deliverance, is now available at Amazon.com. Get your copy today. Shalom.